Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. I hope everyone's doing well. On today's video, I've got an amazing website that will help you test whatever URL you want to make sure and ensure it is a safe website to visit. I'm also going to explain the difference between HTTP and HTTPS and why you need to know the difference, especially during holiday time or anytime you're shopping. All that and more is coming up next. Okay, so we're going to start off by talking about what the difference between HTTP and HTTPS is. And it's important you guys know what the difference is. This is the prefix to any URL that you're going to see online. If you type something online, it's going to have this prefix. Now, it's a pretty big difference. Now, here's the thing. The S at the end of HTTPS stands for secure. Okay, now what is the difference? If you are just browsing the internet and you are not going to be entering any sensitive information, it's okay to be on a website with an HTTP. Now, because the S stands for secure, if you're getting ready to purchase something, and you know when you purchase something online, you have to fill in sensitive information like your credit card, your address, and things like that. You have to enter PayPal sometimes. Well, you want to make sure you're on a site that has an S at the end of that HTTP. The reason why is because that means the information entered in those data fields is encrypted. And if you enter it on a site that does not have that S, well, that website is not encrypted and other parties can see and actually secure that information. So make sure you are on a website that has an S at the end of it because that means it's secure. All right, so one additional way that we can actually check a website to ensure that it is safe is by checking out this website. It's excellent. It's absolutely free of charge. I'm going to put the link in the description, and it's very easy to use. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so I'm actually going to show you two different websites. This first one, Hybrid Analysis, will go into depth a little bit more. And then the second website is very easy. It's very simple. So I'm going to actually show you both of them. I know I told you I was going to show you one, but I'm going to throw in a bonus one. Now, I will leave the link to this and the other one in the description of the video so you can just click it. But they're both very easy to use. Now, this first one, Hybrid Analysis, there are tons of features within this website. I have not had a chance actually dug into some of the other features I basically just use it for the URL uh, analysis tool search so all you need to do is to come to this website and then as you can see there's a few different options and it defaults to file slash URL that's where you want to be so just simply scroll down and then you're gonna see this search bar right here now I do want to say before I actually do this you know a lot of websites that you guys use from day to day you already know that are safe so this would be a good tool for, let's say you're shopping online and you just happen to see uh, a product that's at a store that you're not familiar with. Well, that would be a great opportunity to run that website through this search tool and check it out to make sure it is in fact a safe site. So what you can do is just simply paste the link right here. And I'm just gonna use a simple one that we all know and I'm gonna click analyze. And then it's gonna get things ready and it just takes a few seconds and so it's gonna bring this up right here. And so what you have to do is you have to click I consent and then you have to click I'm not a robot. So once they know you're not a robot, then you can click continue. And then it's gonna bring you to this page right here. And usually it will default to Windows 7 32-bit and that's what I usually leave it on. So you can just leave it right there. You can also change it to quick scan, but I recommend just leaving it on Windows 7 32-bit. And then all you need to do is just scroll down and you will see generate public report in blue. So go ahead and click that. And here you go. So what you're looking for is in the top right hand corner, it says no specific threat. That's obviously what you want and it's in green. And the other thing is they'll run it through virus total, which is a great uh, virus software. And so as you can see, it says clean. So perfect. That's exactly what you want to make sure that it is safe. And so this is hybrid analysis. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the second one and it's actually put out by Google. I'm going to show you that right now. 
Okay, so in finally we have Google Transparency Report. Now this is a website that's actually put out by Google itself. A really very easy and straightforward website. It will test for malware and phishing. And basically here is a summary on what it is. It's a browsing technology and they'll examine billions of URLs per day looking for unsafe websites. And all you need to do, like I said, it's the easiest website to use. Just come right down here where it says check site status and then it says search by URL. So all you need to do is just paste the website right there. I'm gonna go ahead and test USA today. So let's search that and then scroll down and there you go. That's what you wanna see. You wanna see that current status in green and it says no unsafe content found. So if it's a malicious or suspicious, it will be in red or yellow. And so that's how you'll know, but this is a very easy one very easy to use. I actually created a shortcut on my home screen just because I find myself use this all the time. So basically all you do to create that is just to click these vertical dots, scroll down to where it says add to home screen, and then you can just name it whatever you want and click add, and then you'll have this little shortcut on your home screen. So really nice website. I think you guys will like that one. You'll use it a lot. It's just very, very easy. So I hope all of this information helps you out. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I will see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.